All right, it's uh, another beautiful day in the neighborhood of GSC. I'm kind of overwhelmed by the response on what is the S300 system like on Casper. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you a walkthrough of how it's mounted, how it's all in there. And uh, that way everybody can get an idea of, yes, it's a T4 with an adapter and how it all goes together with the downpipe adapter with dual V-band. And that way you can make your own educated decision. Do you want to go S300? Do you want an HX35, 40? It's up to you guys. So, I'll get this thing flipped around and show what we got. All right, I moved some stuff out of the way here. Air intake, the battery. I pulled the snoot off my uh, catch can here. Buys a little bit of space. So this is the S300. It's a 60 millimeter compressor wheel billet. I've got the KB Diesel three inch upper charge tube because obviously three inch to three inch, it's a nice transition. 0.91 exhaust housing with an HX 40 style V-band adapter off the back. You can use a stock 6.5 oil feed fitting in the Borg. You can use a upgraded 6.5 oil drain tube on these like do give them a little bit of a bend. Down below here you can see the T3 T4 adapter from BD Diesel that we run which allows us to hook this thing up. On the back here, this is just a V-band coupler adapter flange. It goes from the, I believe it's three and three quarter inch to the three inch here. So this is your V-band is stock common size. And then the, the outlet is your, uh, your three inch for GM. Come down to the bottom here and behold, there's your standard GM V-band exit flange here and a stock GM exit V-band clamp here goes right on whatever downpipe you might have, be it Diamondized, Summit, GMO, Stock. And that is basically the S300 package, shoved in a 6.5. I will admit it's a little tight if you wanna to try to run an intercooler. I was gonna flip this thing, clock the snail down and use my charge tubes and everything from the, the HX that I had. But unfortunately, there's just not enough room. That's the the one downside to the Borg is that it is physically a much larger charger, but it also has improved airflow, and frankly, I really enjoy the drivability of it. So that's why we're, we're doing this. Um, going forward, I'll probably put a Borg on whatever I build if I do a sled pulling truck similar to this. Actually, it'll be the next size up. I'll go to a, a 63, and that way I've got a little, little higher volume of air and I'll do some torque converter work to, to make it spool a little bit better on the top end. So, but that's it. That's the S300 on Casper. I hope that that kind of answers a few questions because I know the guys were already asking, what was I doing for a, a flange mount? Like I said, just a BD diesel T3, T4 adapter. This is an open scroll housing. That's an open scroll adapter. And other than building a, a V-band adapter outlet pipe, in your free time that's uh that's this is actually the hardest part of the whole project and if you don't know how to weld um, but if you can or if you've got a friend that does you can always take it over and see if they can't make up an elbow so but here it is the s300 on casper and hopefully that helps a few of you guys out if you're making the decision to go board thanks guys